Hello. Hello. Hello everyone, Mario here. Welcome to my first video. Let me start by saying that this video here is a test. Not a test to see if I like making videos or not, but more of me trying to figure out the do's and don'ts. So I'm going to ask for your help. Leave a comment letting me know what can I do differently to improve these videos. Let me know what would you like the next video to be. Let me know if you like long or short videos. I don't know, just help me make these videos better. And remember, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it. Okay, so let's get started. If you're familiar with my work, you'll see that a lot of my illustrations are based on shapes. So for the head right now, I'm gonna use a rectangle. Let's just get the strokes the way we want them to be. And under transform now, I'm gonna round the corners. This tool is available right now under transform, but in previous versions of Illustrator, it's available under effects and stylize. I'm using Illustrator CC right now. So for the mouth, we're going to do a half circle that, of course, we just start with a simple circle and then cut in half with Pathfinder. I use Pathfinder a lot for creating shapes like this. And I know there is an easier way to handle Pathfinder instead of, you know, having to cut on group and then remove the parts you, want, you don't want. But this is just how I got used to work. The tongue, the same thing. We take uh, the mouth. Uh, invert it and cut it with fi pet finder again. Now for the eyes, it's another half circle, but in this case, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the points, so I'm just keeping half of the circle without the line in the middle as in the mouth. Let's just duplicate the same circle. And not right now, we're gonna be working on the nose. Same thing, let's get the strokes outside. Okay, we're making the lower part of the of the nose, the lower corners of the of the nose rounded. Another top. And as you can see, I did like a 7.5 on each corner. The reason I specific I select that a specific number is because the width of my nose is 15 pixels. So I'm just doing half and half, that way I get a perfect circle. Well, half circle. Right now let's work on the hair. During this video you will notice that I like to keep the dimensions and positions of my elements as whole numbers, not decimals. Sometimes there's nothing you can do and you know there will be decimals, but most of the times, if possible, I like to keep them as whole numbers. It just makes it easier when you need to align things, move things around. It's easier to just know I need to move it 10 pixels, 20 pixels. Now, once again, using Pathfinder to cut the hair. The reason I'm cutting them as separate elements is because I want to be able to put one above the other, like having different layers of hair. So I was just adding some colors just to see if I like the position of everything in the face. The colors will help me get that idea. So I'm just going to move things around just a little. What I'm going to do right now is create a rectangle with no strokes to cover the top of the nose. The reason I didn't cut that line the same way I cut the line on the eyes is because I'm trying to keep the position of the strokes outside of the nose. As mentioned before, I'm making sure that the numbers are whole numbers, no decimals here. Maybe I should create a video where I explain the reasoning behind having the strokes outside and also why I prefer to move things with the keyboard instead of click and drag with the mouse. Now let's get to the eyebrows. One more time, getting rid of the decimals. I'm going to use the width tool here to make one side thicker than the other. This adds a nice little touch. Now for the second eyebrow, I'm just going to make a copy of the first one. 
then apply Reflect Vertical. Just take both eyebrows and align them to the center of the face. Now let's just move them where we want them to be. Now let's work on creating the shadows and highlights on the face. To create the shape of the shadow, I just take the shape of the face, make a copy, and then just move it around a little. And now let's apply Pathfinder. For shadows, I like to use the color black. I just change it to overlay or soft light or even multiply depending on the color and bring the opacity down. Now let's work on making some highlights. It's the same principle as the shadow. We take the shape of the head, just move it around a little and let's use the Pathfinder tool. Now let's move it back. For highlights, I use the color white and the same principle as the shadows. I change it to soft light or overlay and bring the opacity down. There's no specific number to which you have to bring the opacity down. Just play with different numbers and just see what looks better to you. Now let's work on making a shadow at the bottom of the nose. Sometimes when I'm not sure about the size of something, I like to go to the outline view. Uh, shortcut is Command Y or you can just go to View and select Outline. That view helps me a lot when I'm working with fixed strokes because sometimes it's hard to see where one shape ends and the other one begins. Now let's move it back. Okay, so now we're gonna work on making some highlights for the hair. We just take the same shape we use for highlights for the face and just apply it to the hair. Pathfinder again, let's move it back and let's play with the opacity. Now we're doing some shadows to the hair. The reason I'm not using the same shape I use for the shadow of the face and the highlight of the face on the hair, it's because as you can see I'm using different percentages of opacity. So next step, let's work on the neck. Once again, we'll start with a rectangle. Let's make it white and center this. And now let's send it to the back. If you notice, uh, the width is 60 pixels. So I want the bottom of it to be rounded. So I'm just gonna do 30 and 30 on each side. So next step will be the veil. The veil is made out of two parts. Let's start with the smaller part that is the one that goes around the hair. I don't want it to be a perfect circle. I'm actually going to use a rectangle and round the edges. The top part of the rectangle is going to be slightly more rounded than the bottom, just because it goes around the hair. Once again, the width is 150, so I'm doing 75 and 75. But the bottom, I'm doing 60 and 60. So you can see it's not a perfect circle. It has those little straight lines on each side. Now let's do the bigger part of the veil. Once again, we're starting with a rectangle. Let's select the color. Let's move these corners to get the angles that we need, the angles that we're looking for. And once again, I'm using the keyboard just to make sure that everything goes exactly where I want it to be. Also, I'm gonna round the top corners. So next step will be creating a little shadow for the neck. The shadow is gonna be cast by the head. So I'm gonna use that shape and move it down and with the Pathfinder tool, I'm gonna create the shape I wanted to use for the shadow. Now let's move that back to its place. In this case, because I'm, I'm making a shadow that falls over white, I'm not gonna use soft light or overlay. I'm just gonna bring the opacity down. Now let's make a shadow for the veil. Because of how thick the stroke is, I probably want to make the shape a little bit wider 
to compensate for that. And let's bring the opacity down, that looks a little bit too strong. Now let's just move it up a little. Okay, so my next step will be I want to create a shadow on the face that's being cast by the hair. So I'm going to take these two parts, copy, duplicate them. Let's combine them. So that's how it's going to look. As you can see, there's a, this small space in between the shadow and the head. So let's resize this a little so we get that color. Pathfinder again to get the shape that we want. And let's just move this back to the face. Let's make sure to move all the elements that we need to the front. And let's combine now the shadows. And that's it, we're done. If you have any questions about this video or if you have any suggestions what the next video should be, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching.